Hi Scorpios, I'm here with a general reading for the sign of Scorpio. Now Scorpio, um, please remember that um, we're all different ages, we're all moving through different types of experiences, we all have different complicated natal charts, and from my perspective it is not feasible that all of us are going through the same energy. So um, I will pull out the current energies and that will help you to kind of determine if this might really resonate with you this time. I'm going to go ahead and shuffle now. So if you don't like the shuffling, whoo, my, I'm getting into your energy and it's leaving me. It's interesting. Um, if you don't like the shuffling, just move forward in the video to where the reading begins. And that's fine with me if you do that. All right, let's go ahead and see what this current energy is for Scorpio. What is the current energy for this group of Scorpios, please? What is the current energy? Where is, what is the current energy for this group of Scorpios? What is the current energy, please? What is the current energy? This card. Emperor energy. Didn't come out, though. Just wanted to be that name. Wanted to be... What is the current energy for this group of Scorpios, please? What is the current energy? One more. What is the current energy? On the floor. Just one second. Right. That's the current energy. What will Scorpio be stepping into? What will Scorpio be stepping into in the next immediate wave of energy? The next seven to ten days, the next two to three weeks. What will Scorpio be stepping into? Guidance, please, for Scorpio. Guidance, please. Guidance, please, for Scorpio. Guidance, please. Guidance, please, for Scorpio. I think that might be it. All right. Okay, Scorpio, the energy is hurried. It's a kind of a hurried energy. It's a fast energy, a quick processing energy that I'm in. Um, so let's go ahead and see what's here. Oh, the Fool. Oh my gosh, I love this. High Priestess, beautiful. Wheel of Fortune and the Queen of Wands. And this Queen of Wands was the one that shot out of the deck and onto the floor. So yeah, I feel this energy. I felt it when I was shuffling. It's a fast it's a fast energy. You might not be even telling a whole lot of people here with a high priestess energy. You know what you're doing. Look at these circles. There's circles here. Something is moving forward. Something that you've never done before. Okay, something is coming in. You, this group is already experiencing this because a fool energy is here in the very first energy. So there's something that you've that you're doing that you've never done before. You could be feeling slightly vulnerable, but you're optimistic and you're enthusiastic about some kind of new beginning. Queen of Wands here as well. Optimism, enthusiasm, passion, excitement, drive, moving forward. Okay, you know there's something here that you know. There's some wisdom. There's enlightenment here. There's a deep knowing about this. Kind of a Pisces energy here with the High Priestess. Something is moving forward. Something is happening. And I think you're pushing this wheel forward. Something is coming in for you or you're connecting with something. You're creating something or you're connecting in with something that has a lot of a pot that has a lot of possibility with it. It has a lot of um, possibility for future success in whatever way. Okay. This can be about love. This could be about success. This could be about a new job and, or a new business that you're starting. But something, you're doing something here. You're excited about it. You know your capacities. You know what you can do. You know what you're good at. You know what your natural abilities are with the Queen of Wands. You know what your value is. 
right? You're not scared of it either. I, I see no fear. I see maybe a little bit of a quiet energy. I don't think you're really broadcasting this all around right now. It could be somewhat of a quiet energy, but something is definitely moving forward. And it could be about money. It could be about love. It could be about achieving some kind of a goal or connecting in with a long held dream that you've had. With the Wheel of Fortune, that usually talks about work. You know, it, it takes effort to push the wheel. The wheel, unless there's a hill, but usually you have to climb up a hill to get to a downhill, right? You don't just get continual downhills. I mean, the wheel has to be pushed to move. It has to have an engine. It has to have fuel. It has to have some kind of manpower to move. So, and here you are inside this fool energy moving it. So I see that you have something to do with this. You've worked hard to get to this place. You've put in effort. And when you put in effort and you have a belief in yourself, you know what your natural abilities are, the abilities that you were born with, that you've had since childhood, you can create success with whatever. So this is the energy, okay? This is the energy that I see for this group of Scorpio people. Let's see what's coming in next. Let's see what's coming in. Now these energies came out swift and fast. And as I say that, there's the Ace of Swords there, Nine of Wands, Judgment Energy, Scorpio Energy in the, in the reverse, that's you, Three of Pentacles, Lover's Energy, Six of Wands. Yeah. So as you move into the future, you might have to, okay, let me start at the beginning. So as you move into the future energy, whatever this next seven to 10 days are, the next month, whatever this is for you, this is the next immediate energy. Um, there's going to be no denying that this is here. No denying that it's here. There could be a communication coming in. There could be just an epiphany. You could just be making a final decision, but it is something um, that you are deciding that you are moving into. It's something that's almost done. Like the decision has been completed. Something is done here with the nine of, with the Ace of Swords. You have the Three of Pentacles. So this is something that you have already started. It has an energy that has already began with the Three of Pentacles. It's something that has already been started. With the Three of Pentacles, he's already finished this first window, right? This first painting. He has already finished it. So there's something here that has already started. That's what I'm saying. Like, I don't think you can, you can no longer deny that this is happening, Scorpio. You can no longer deny it. Something is here that's happened and it's already in some kind of beginning phase. Now you do have the energy of the nine of wands, which is there's a lot of impatience here. There's a lot of high intense energy here. But with the nine of wands energy, um, this is an energy of protection. It's an energy of defensiveness. It's an energy of really taking action now and making decisions that um, really, yeah, there's a, there's an energy of making decisions as you move into the future. You're going to be making decisions and you're going to be making them in your own best interest here with the Knight of Wands. You could be protecting whatever this is and it has to do with something that you're working to build into something better, into something more. You could be making decisions now um, to, to represent the best version of whatever this is, the, be the best version. So you're working to create the best version of this, whether it's a decision about love that you're making, whether it's some sort of new job, new business that you're starting, um, you're standing in front of who you are. You're not backing down. You know what your skills are. You know what your talents are. You know what your dreams are. And you know in which direction you're heading, Scorpio. So you're right there. You're staying on point. You are not backing down. You're not standing aside. You're standing in front of what you believe in and what you hold to be precious and what you hold to be valuable. You're not backing down on any of that with the Knight of Wands. There is some sort of decision here with the lover's energy. This is a Gemini energy. It's an energy about making decision and staying balanced about making a decision. And usually this decision, usually this choice, this balancing of the energies has something to do with the heart chakra. It has something to do with the passion that we feel within us, but not only the passion that we feel within us, but balancing that and creating something very truly peaceful and harmonizing, but still very intense and passionate. So there's a lot of intensity in this energy as you move into the future, a lot of intensity here. All right. Knowing that there is a brand new beginning here with the judgment energy, there's a brand new beginning. There's an energy here of look at what I've done. Look at what I've done. Look at what's coming forward. This is a brand new chance, a brand new, um, a brand new 
opportunity or a brand new energy, a brand new space in which to create something powerful. Okay, so it feels like there's an expansive space here. Something has been, oh, and then we have the death card in reverse. So something has been opened up. Something has to had to have been given up. Something has been opened up. So whether a door has been opened up or a new relationship has been opened up, but whatever it is, there is now space for that. Okay, there's space for it. So something had to have been, there. there is something that's ending here with the death energy in reverse. And that's your energy, Scorpio. So there's something that's ending and something that's beginning. So it's almost like you're pulling yourself out of one situation and stepping forward in another situation. It's, it's, a, it's taking a color, like let's say this blue color. It's, they're, they're showing me like um, with how they sometimes like in movies, like in horror movies or something, they'll, they'll um, color a certain energy, like a wispy dark blue. And let's say this energy will move into a room. Ooh, scary, it moves into a room. Well, nothing about this is scary. They're just showing me that energy. And it's and that energy was once um, firmly in a space. And now that energy is pulling out of that space and kind of moving into a new space. And whatever this new space is that you're moving into, it's something that's going to be seen. It's something that you're going to step into where the community can see you. The family can see you. The workplace can see you. The industry can see you, right? Your friends can see you. It's something that you're going to be seen doing. It's something that you're going to be doing that's different from what you've been doing before. There's a new uniform, a new hat, right? A new a new job or a new relationship or something you're stepping out in that people will see you. It's an energy of passion, of an energy of confidence, um, an energy of taking on a new responsibility or a new role or some way that you're being seen new and in an advanced way in the community in some way. It's something that is not a secret. You're going to be inspiring others by doing this. You're going to be encouraging others by doing this. All right, so it has an energy of stepping above the crowd, stepping up and onto some kind of platform. This could even be giving presentations in the community or having some kind of a voice that is heard in some kind of a way. But this is taking some kind of new stance or new way of being seen and moving forward. There is a little bit of risk that comes with the Six of Wands, a risk of doing something new. And there is, there is a little bit of a risk here. Um, because you're taking on some kind of a new role, maybe perhaps that you haven't done before, but you know that you have the passion, you know that you have the abilities to do this, you know what your superpowers are, you're managing your weaknesses, right? You're, you're ready for this. You're ready for this, Scorpio. This is an energy that's intense, is passionate, it's full of excitement. There's something here you've had to let go of with the death energy in reverse. There's something here that's totally different about you than you've ever felt before. Right. It's something that it's already started. Something has already been created and you know that it's freaking abundant, too. And you're ready to move forward. You're not backing down. It's a very intense, powerful, forceful energy, forceful as in moving into new frontiers. It's like a king of wands energy moving into new frontiers. It's not forcing as far as forcing other people, but you are forcing the door open with this kind of an energy. It's beautiful and passionate and powerful, Scorpio. Let's, I, and I don't even, I feel like I just have to keep going. This energy is very intense and strong. All right, let's see what the guidance is for you, Scorpio. What is the guidance for Scorpio? Five of Cups. There's that leaving one situation and moving to another. Here's Justice Energy and the Seven of Wands. So you're having to leave something with the, with the Death card. You're still in a transformative kind of energy while you have this intensity this intensity could be even spurred on or fueled by whatever you're leaving. All right. So something that is in your past or some kind of energy that you're leaving is fueling on you into this future, into this future experience. And whatever that is, I think just take advantage of this because I think that you're feeling very passionate and powerful in this new, in this new situation. So just take advantage of that energy, move forward from that, use it as a fueling source, but be sure that you have balance now as you move forward. Make sure that you're making good decisions, that you're really looking at all aspects of, of the situation, um, that you're making choices that are going to be benefit you in the long term, in the long run. Uh, it looks like new equality is coming in for you. Um, something beautiful is here for you. It's, it's creating 
um, fairness in your situation. Maybe in the past, things have just not been fair. And now you've learned in your life how to bring that fairness in, how to bring that equality in, and you're making decisions. And again, this that seven of wands energy um, with that six of wands. It's intense, it's passionate, it's forward movement, but it's also in protection. It's also, remember that nine of wands as you're moving forward, it's an energy of standing in front of what you believe in, what you are made of, what your soul is, what your passion goes towards. Um, and that's an intense passion. So this next period of time is going to be passionate. It's going to be intense. You're going to be very attractive. You're going to be powerful in the way you express yourselves and in the action that you take. Um, it looks to me like you're going to have clarity too. Um, there's a little bit of hurt and trauma here that is helping to fuel this. I say just allow it to help you to fuel it. At some point, you're going to need to continue to disconnect from that from that energy of the past. But at this point in time, I feel like that that energy from the past could be fueling this in a way. Just remember to keep balanced in this energy at some point. And now as I get in this energy, it kind of softens Scorpio. So I think this rushing energy might just be for the next seven to 10 days. I don't see really that you're going to be able to hold on to this really strong energy that long. Um, but when you're in this energy, it's going to be very effective. You're going to get a lot of you're going to make a lot of stride. You're going to move. You're going to have significant movement in whatever this is in the next short period of time. It's like a king of wands energy. If I would have put the king of wands down as the only card in the future, it would have told me that you're moving into a very powerful, creative space, an influencing space, a space, a space of influence, of inventiveness, of creating um, revitalization or um, of creating new construction in a, in a space, building, creating, um, re, re, revising, rescuing, that kind of an energy with the King of Wands. But instead, we have these energies that are very, um, that allow us to go deeper into the story. But the whole next seven to 10 days, I think for many of you, is a very passionate King of Wands. It's fueled by the Queen of Wands. That fuel within you has been fueled. It, you're ready to go. Your engines are revved up and you're moving forward in a very passionately intense so just remember, the people around you might be somewhat surprised. You might be shocking people. People might respond to your energy. So if you're coming in with a very powerful energy, very intense, passionate action, people might respond to that in the same way. So before, maybe you had a softer energy, and I think your energy is going to soften again in maybe a couple of weeks from now. But right now, you have this passion and re realize that when we step into new areas, people usually mirror, mirror us when we step into their space. They're going to mirror us. So it might be um, helpful if you really know when you're in this very passionate, intense energy to, to just be aware of how others could mirror you or could respond to that energy. Um, because you have this protective energy here, which tells me that you might be hitting up against some sort of just a little bit of challenge or people you could be needing to really, um, okay, I see. So sometimes when we're in this passionate, intense energy, um, we might not always explain ourselves well. We might not have the ability to calmly and rationally build a case, build a story. You might have to be advocating for yourself or defending yourself or um, spending some time persuading something to happen, persuading family members or persuading coworkers or persuading. You might be having to explain something when you just want to move forward. It's that very intense energy that I feel. It's a beautiful energy, Scorpio. Go with it. Run with it. Whatever happens, this energy is going to calm down in a couple of weeks. And then you'll be able to settle in and make some more decisions. But right now, when you have this energy and it's going, 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 and it's very intense, and you'll be able to move mountains with this energy, go for it. Just make sure you have balance. Make sure you're making good decisions. And there will be a little bit of a tinge of, of some kind of it's a tinge of pain that I feel in this energy that will be able to be dealt with in time. After this flash of energy, after the king of wands energy that you're going to be in kind of loses its steam, you'll be able to settle in and um, reconfigure yourself, reset yourself after you've moved forward in this. It's almost like a fast movement forward. It's almost like playing a board game and you 
playing a game and you um, rolled the dice and you got a six and all of a sudden you get a move forward in the board game really far, really far, farther than you were expecting. And now you get to resettle yourself, see where you are, see what kind of benefits you have from moving forward that quickly. Notice your landscape, notice your environment, and then make some decisions from there. <sighs> oh my gosh, it's a rushing of energy. Scorpio, this is it. Like it was a big whirlwind of energy. This is what I'm getting. And um, yeah, I think it's time for the extended now. I don't really have anything more to say. Um, let me see what energies I'm going to go into in the extended. I'm going to go into the Fool for sure. So we're going to look at this new opportunity. We're going to look at the Wheel of Fortune. I want to look at the Six of Wands energy to see what that is. And I'm kind of interested in this Lover's energy too. See if we have a love story here for some of you. All right, so that, those are the energies I'm going to look into in the Extended. And then we'll take the situation month by month or by energy wave, out five energy waves. So we're going to look out five waves. So we've already looked at this first wave, and then we're going to look out the next four waves of energy or the next four months, however you'd like to think about it. All right, if you'd like to go to the extended, the link is below. Otherwise, if you're happy with this reading, that makes me really happy too. I'm always glad when you're here, and I appreciate it so very much. So, my, so very much, um, Scorpio. Thank you very much. Bye.